Coach, I've got a follow-up for you. I, I want to ask, you know, obviously Matt Judd really sparked your return game. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about uh, what Matt's best qualities as a returner are? That's a unique job. Uh, well, Matt's best qualities as a returner are his, uh, you know, just best qualities overall. And that's, you know, truly his toughness and his desire. I mean, he is tr just, you see the same thing at receiver, making the tough catches, um, he runs hard, you know, I'm not, not poking fun at him here, but I don't know that he's going to beat a lot of people in a, in a 40 yard dash, uh, but he just runs hard and he trusts his teammates. He's an unbelievable teammate. He's one of those guys, you know, we're, we're reviewing the game yesterday and uh, you know, we, we, in order to get everybody together, you got to do it on zoom, you know, we'll have everybody in different locations and different classrooms at six feet apart and all that other stuff by position. And Matt gets up on the zoom and just says, guys, man, what incredible block. And, makes it really easy to trust it. And I think that's what you, what you see is he is trusting his teammates because you'll, you'll pause the video and the seam isn't there. And then all of a sudden the seam is enormous and he just trusts that he can just run straight ahead to where the seam is intended to be. And that his guys are in front of him are going to do his job. And so I think, you know, part of what I opened with too is you see those guys whose role it is to play special teams on this team that are just really embracing it. They're playing their hearts out on those teams, they certainly, when, when you got a guy like Matt back there returning it, it gives a little bit more spark, a little more confidence, a little more excitement, but those guys are really embracing their role. And that's why we're so excited. And we know that we're really close to, to getting where we want to get to when you have a team full of guys embracing that special teams role. Coach Tennessee state in 2019 was your first win as a collegiate head coach. Can you uh, talk about some of your fondest memories of that day? I know you got the Gatorade shower in a very cold weather and, uh, What's your best uh, memory of that day? Yeah, I'll take Gatorade shower in any weather if, if it means a, a win on uh, <laughs> on a Saturday or Sunday of this season. Um, I think what, what the best memory is that that we weren't uh, we weren't dominating by any stretch. We just kept on fighting, right? We, our defense didn't have a great first half, but a phenomenal second half. We you know we made some huge plays in that second half. We we obviously we had to uh, we had to convert some fourth downs down the stretch to to finish the game and. And just the guy stepping up and, and truly battling it. What, you know, it wasn't one of those just, hey, this is a blowout. That's a, it's a really good football team at Tennessee State that truly pushed us. And it was a high scoring affair. I mean, it was a back and forth. And I think those are probably the most fun to win because the guys just kept on battling. They just kept playing one play at a time. And, and so you think back to that's everything that we want this program to stand for, for, you know, not the easy to truly embrace and, and be able to, uh, you know, rise up to the challenge when it is, when it is hard. And coach, the last one I had for you, um, any update you can share on Isaiah Hill and how he's coming along and, and just the overall health of your of your club? Yeah, club's doing well. I think the, the big thing is that we're truly seeing guys, you know, you saw a guy like Tyler Hamilton get back going last week for the first time in game action. Um, and so, you know, you get that happen in, in preseason camp. And as much as we tried to mitigate it, you just, when you play football, some of that stuff you can't mitigate, right? Um, to try and get them better. We're always trying to find ways to practice healthy and safer, but but we're getting more and more guys back. I think we're going to have more guys available for this game than we've had in, than we had last week, and we had more guys last week than we had in the first week. Um, so that's exciting. Um, Isaiah Hill is not coming along. Uh, he, I don't anticipate him, him playing um, at this point, and so it's unfortunate. But uh, you know, I, we've obviously seen Dwayne Cooks, Matt Judd, make some you know enormous plays in in his stead, and. Um, miss a guy like Isaiah, but uh, my favorite part about Isaiah is are the texts that I, you know, that I get from him right before the game and, hey, coach, let's get this thing, you know, all that stuff. And he's such an incredible teammate and incredibly young man. What was most encouraging for you about the way you finished last week down at UT Martin? Yeah, it, similar to, to what I mentioned maybe about the win last year at Tennessee State is that just the guys never gave up and, and knew that we were just going to keep on fighting um, scratching, clawing, doing everything we possibly could for each other. I think that the guys truly on the sideline, there was a sense of um, that, that we're going to win this game all the way up to the to the last seconds, right? And uh, and they truly can look in each other's eyes and trust each other. And that's when you know you're building a team is that they trust each other. And, and it isn't going to always be perfect. We say it all the time around here. Football is not a game of perfect. It's a game of, of your best. Give everything you've got. And some plays, what you have isn't as much as you had the previous play. Yet you also have to do, you have to trust that and you got to go like this and get your back up in there and let him go hip, give his best for a few plays. And 
we saw a bunch of that, right? We saw a bunch of that at a linebacker positions with Shock, Anthony Shockey and Jason Johnson playing at a really high level for a couple of games. But then Colin Bohanna came in and had an unbelievable game relieving both of them because it was a little warmer. And, and we just, we, we keep saying that you're as hard as you can for as long as you can. And when, when you've got, don't quite have your best tap and let somebody else go in there and go as hard as he can for as long as he can. And so um, really seeing those guys continue to step up and that competitive depth continue to help us improve as a program. Thank you, coach. Appreciate your time. Absolutely. Good seeing you, Barry. Coach, just a, a little bit more on TSU. You know, they've played two games. They played a, a national ring JSU last week. They have a new quarterback and a, a lot of new, just looking at their roster, a lot of new players that you, people just don't know names. So what have you seen from them after two weeks that, you know, maybe you wouldn't have known if you'd have played them the first game out of the shoot? Yeah, you, you said it right. They're, they've got a bunch of new faces out there and they played a really, really good football team from Jacksonville State. And it was a heck of a football game. You know, the score maybe doesn't indicate what, what it ended up being. But through three plus quarters, it was a it was a good game. They're pretty disruptive. They caused some fumbles, right? They they got some turnovers. Um, uh, their defense is 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 the same as it is it's been, right? They're they're pretty sound with what they do, um, and so yeah, obviously you always learn things. Everybody's going to have a little bit different here, a little bit different there. Um, you know what you always see from from that outfit is that they're well coached. They play really hard, and uh, you know we obviously got an incredible challenge. Get back on the road again and and go down there and play a really good football team and an improved football team. I believe you know from week to week as well. well Coach, we uh, appreciate your time this morning. Best of luck on Sunday, and we'll talk to you next Tuesday. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Go Panthers.